Determining cis-trans or easy conformation with complex, fancy molecules does not have to be difficult. Let me show you how to easily do it. So here's a fancy molecule with which we can determine cis-trans or easy conformation. So all we have to do is align our eyes with the first double bond right here. So you might have to tilt your head a little bit to the left. And notice there's only two substituents, so I'm going to go ahead and draw the hydrogens that are hardly ever shown. So when we align our eyes to the left, parallel with the double bond, I notice that this substituent, which is a methyl group, is bigger than the hydrogen, so this will get priority. And then on this carbon, this substituent, meaning the rest of the molecule, is bigger than the hydrogen, so that will get priority. So they're both in the same side of the double bond, so they're both below the double bond. So this will be cis. So now let's do the same with the other double bond. So you have to align your eyes parallel with this double bond. You might have to tilt it to the right a little bit. And let's look at this carbon first. And again, it must have a hydrogen here. So between the hydrogen and the methyl group, this gets priority right here. And now let's go to the other carbon. And we have a methyl group, and then we have the rest of the molecule here. The rest of the molecule is bigger than the methyl group up here. So this is the priority on this carbon. So now notice that both priority groups are on the same side of the double bond. So this is also cis. So we can actually say this is an all cis molecule, which tends to be curved or curly like you see in this example. Simple. So let's try this example. So we're going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to look at this double bond first. Notice that each carbon only has one substituent, so it must have a hydrogen here and a hydrogen here. So I'm going to tilt my head to the right a little bit and align my eyes parallel to the double bond and determine priorities on each of the carbon. So when I look at this carbon, I notice that the methyl group is the priority group here. And when I look at this carbon, I notice that the rest of the molecule here is the priority. So I notice that there are two of the same substituents, two hydrogens, so we're gonna call this trans. So then I'm gonna look at this double bond right here and do the same thing, align my eyes, tilt my head to the right a little bit, and then align my eyes parallel to the double bond. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a hydrogen in here and a hydrogen in here. And I notice right here, this is the priority on this carbon, and this, the rest of the group, is the priority on this carbon. So once again, they're on opposite sides of the double bond, as far away from each other as possible, so this is also trans. So we can call this an all trans molecule, which actually tends to be linear or more straight than the previous cis example that we saw. That's it. So how about determining cis-trans or easy conformation with this fancy molecule? Well, believe it or not, we're going to do it just the same way as we did the previous examples. So we're going to align our eyes with the double bond, so tilt it to the right a little bit. And we're going to go to this carbon and determine priority among its two substituents. So when I go this way, I have a bunch of carbons. When I go this way, I have a carbon and a hydroxide, which makes this priority on this carbon. So then I'll go to the other carbon and determine priority among its two substituents. When I go this way, I have a bunch of carbons again. When I go this way, I have a carbon with a double bonded oxygen. So this will get priority on the left side carbon. So now notice that the two priority groups are on opposite sides of the double bond. So here's the double bond, and they're on opposite sides, meaning as far away as possible from each other. Okay. Also, we have to notice that there are four different substituents. This may look the same as this side here. However, when I go in this direction, I hit a ketone. When I go in this direction, I hit a hydroxide, which makes them different from each other. So because they're different from each other, we'll use easy nomenclature. And because the two priority groups are on opposite sides of the double bond, this is an E isomer. Simple as that. Even in the most complex, fancy molecules, easy conformation or cis-trans conformation can easily be determined. 
if you follow the fundamental rules, in, as in the previous examples. That's it. Simple as that.